in the previous video we saw how to create a free domain hosting account in this video we will actually point to our existing domain to our hosting account suppose the domain name we are going to host is this one to host this domain with award space at first we need to link that domain we can link that domain using the domain manager tool at first we have to click on domain manager to add our domain from here we are seeing couple of options like register a domain transfer a domain host a domain and so on our goal is to host this domain so from this we actually have to choose this one host a domain we just need to click over here host a domain and then we have to type our existing domain name the name of our existing domain is this one for your case you have to type your own domain name which you want to host and then we have to put it over here once I type the entire domain name, we just need to click on host domain. Once the linking is successful, then you will get this type of information. Here, they mention the step-by-step -step process to add our name server to our existing domain. So we just need to add this one and this one. These two are the name servers. We just need to add these name servers to our domain and then we can easily link to our existing domain to this hosting account. So here they mention only three steps. The first step is the one we just need to go to the domain register control panel and then change the DNS servers to this one. So I am copying this domain name server, DNS server, that means the name server address and I'm going to our domain control panel and then from, from here click on manage domain. We are seeing there are a couple of options like information, upgrade and managing tool. If we click on managing tool then from here we are seeing that name servers, URL forwarding and so on. So types of things are there. We just need two name servers. So I'm clicking over here and then we have to choose the second one, use custom name servers. I'm choosing this one and from here I'm copying this name, DNS server name and I'm putting it over here. And also I need to copy the second name server name and then I have to copy over here and we don't need this name server name anymore and once I add this information successfully then we have to click on change name server button to save the changes which we did so far so I am clicking over here and the name servers name will be changed successfully in this way we can actually link for existing domain to our free web hosting account now click on open website if you click over here then you will see that this top page that means uh, the domain name actually is pointed successfully uh, at this moment we don't have any files to our file uh, hosting account that's why we are getting this type of page so uh, in the next tutorial i will show you how to create a simple html page on our existing website and then we can get some messages from uh, when we visit that site so this is basically uh, this is the linking thing uh, this is our domain again i am telling that this is the domain we have to change from managing tools to name servers we have to point these two name servers over here and then we have to change the name servers by clicking this change name servers and these two name servers is coming and these two name servers are coming from this hosting account so whenever we are linking our domain name at the time it gives us those name server address and if you forgot 
the name server address then you can click on the settings and from here go to the information and in the information you will find the default ns record that is not in the server record these two are the in the server record and you can copy and paste these two address to here hopefully following this tutorial you are able to link your existing domain to this hosting account uh, and if you use for other type of domain like uh, like you can get the domain from godaddy or hostgator or anywhere else you just need to change the name server address that's all